Hi there. Today is Thursday, April 16, 2024. I will be speaking the English language, then I will switch to the Persian language. Last Saturday would be Saturday, April 13, the Islamic Republic of Iran fire missiles at Israel. The assault, the military assault, did not cause collateral damage, but it caused some uh, building damages. And still, that one is shouldn't be happening. I feel really bad. Several days later, a spokesperson for the Islamic Republic of Iran said that. We warned three days before of launching military strike against Israel. And I remember Mike Wallace interview with the Shah of Iran. And Mike Wallace over there says that have you do you know the CIA report about you? And Mike Wallace reads it for the king of Iran and King of Iran says, like, what do you mean by this? And all of a sudden, the King of Iran says, oh, you want me to be your stooge. And that's exactly what I mean. Like, you could see the King of Iran says that Iran is a sovereign nation, is an independent nation. For those of you who cannot remember, the clerics at that time, they were saying the King of Iran was puppet of the U.S. Now, who is the puppet of the U.S.? The Islamic Republic of Iran cannot move a finger unless it has a permission from the U.S. And this whole thing to me was very eye-opening. And from the get-go, I knew if the... Israel would launch military strike, Perse precision targeting if we would do, like hitting the target area, the head of the state of Iran, then there would be a revolution. And the U.S. doesn't want it because the U.S. needs the Islamic Republic of Iran as a bad police to sell weapons in the Middle East. It's war profiting. Okay, I will be speaking the Persian language. Also, also, Farawan. به همه عزیزان شنبه گذشته جمهوری اسلامی موشک پرتاب کرد به کشور اسرائیل و این موشک ها به جایی نرسید البته این خوشبختان است که به جایی نرسید دولت آمریکا میگه که به اسرائیل میگه که این حمله رو نکن چند روز پیش هم سخنگوی ملله ها اومدن گفتن که یکی شما گفتش که ما سه روز قبلش گفته بودیم یاد مصاحبه علا حضر افتادم با مایک والس وقتی که اونجا ازش میپرسه که گزارش سی رو خوندی علا حضر میگه این گزارش چیه وقتی واسه اش میخونه میگه که آره تو مثلا هوادار ما نیستیم به منافع خودت فکر میکنی من بعد از این که این حادثه رخ داد واقعا فهمیدم که اون چیه و علا حضرت ناراحت شد میگه شما فکر میکنی مثلا من استوج شما هستم ببینید جمهوری اسلامی یه دونه حرکت نمیتونه بکنه بدون اینکه آمریکا رو خوشحال کرده باشه هیچ کاری نمیتونه بکنه و یادم میفته موقع هی میگفتن محمد رضا شاه پهلوی نمیدونم پاپت آمریکا سو ایناس الان میبینیم دروغه واقعا دیگه همه چیزو دارم روز شادی رو واسهتون میگم Are you aware of a CIA psychological profile about you sir? No, I must admit that I, it's the first time I hear that. Truly? Yes. What is it? Would you be interested in hearing what the CIA had to say? Yes, why not? Really? Yes, why not? I have your permission? Yes, yeah, sure. You won't send me to the Savak if I ask? Uh, 
No, I would spare you this terrible ordeal of going through torture. This secret study portrays the Shah as a brilliant but dangerous megalomaniac who is likely to pursue his own aims in disregard of U.S. interests. So how could I be your man, your agent? How do you mean? Safeguarding your interests. Well, it says that the Shah is an uncertain ally. His dreams of glory apparently... Oh, ah, I know. So you would like me to be your stooge? Do you want me to go on, or shall I forget about this? Well, just to some uh, funny points, why not? So he went on to quote to him from the CIA profile. His dreams of glory, it said, apparently exceed his ability to finance them. When his oil revenues run out in an estimated two decades, he might use his new military power to seize some neighboring oil fields. Shall I go on, or would you prefer that I stop, sir? Well, the question is that I have now that you mentioned, I have seen that appearing in papers, but I think it's lots of imagination in that. As far as we are concerned, we are not the toys of any country, uh, including the United States. Why do you want the shah? Why does she want the shah?